Wow, that is much better than I even expected. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. So today is my second video about sublimation. We're going to practice first. So you're going to go on your computer and find a printout, and this is one that I had in my first video. This video is in collaboration with Hippo, and I have all their links in the description box below. We're going to start off after you've chosen what print you want to use. Go to your instructions for your press. Get your instructions correct, get your timing right, make sure you've made notes so you don't mess it up. Because to me, this is the most difficult part, is actually setting the press and getting ready to do the project. But once you get the hang of it, it's easy peasy. So again, our first one is practice. I did it on a piece of a cotton sheet. Even though you're supposed to use polyester, I just wanted to see how it would work. And so using this on a scrap of cotton sheet, when my countdown is over, I swing it out, remove my paper, and this is how it looks. So that's pretty, pretty deep color right there, just on fabric that it's not intended to be used for. So this has given me enough confidence to move on to my first real project, and we're gonna use a Dollar Tree bandana. So these bandanas come in two packs, and they are 100% polyester so these should really take the color well you need at least 75 percent polyester for sublimation so i am going to look at my two beautiful bandanas and i'm going to use this pink one and we're going to use this right on top of it i'm going to press it first and then i'm just laying it out and trying to eyeball the center i'm not going to measure but certainly if you're going to sell something you probably want to measure but like i said i'm still learning so i'm trying to test my limits here all right, so it is clamped down, and I have about the same amount of this bandana on all sides, just kind of hanging out here, waiting on that beautiful new design. I love this beast of a press. I'm also gonna be able to do hats and mugs, and I'm excited to do that, probably in the next video. So once the timer has gone off, I'm just going to turn that sideways and be careful because this is still all hot. And look how pretty it is. It's so dark on there. Really, really pretty. That's how it's supposed to look. And then you can use this in decor. You can put it in an embroidery frame, whatever you wanna do. So here is a damaged t-shirt that I have that's got a stain on it that was gonna be get, just trashed, really. But I've decided, hey, maybe I could put a pattern on here that will cover it up and I can still use the shirt because it is super stretchy and soft and I love it. This has a high percentage of polyester in it as well, but I do not recall what it was. I'm using a Peter Cottontail Easter theme little printable here. And it is printed out with my inkjet printer, with my hippo ink and my hippo paper. I'm gonna protect my surface with some butcher paper and then put it in between the butcher papers also in between the layers of the shirt you can see the stain there and then when i put this down i am going to attempt to get it positioned right in the right place on the chest and also have it cover up the spot where the stain was so i'm just kind of maneuvering that around so that i know that it's all covered and it looks like i have it centered and covered my shirt didn't have any wrinkles pre-existing so i didn't have to iron that or press it down first and then once it is heated up to the correct temperature, then I will be able to close it down and let the timer count down until it is done. So here we are with it finished. And look at this. Oh my goodness, this is the cutest thing. And I had no idea that it would be this rich, this vibrant and colorful. This one really got me excited, y'all, really did. So can you see the stain underneath where the cabbage or the lettuce was? Doesn't that look like piece of the print now? I just saved this shirt, completely saved it, giving it new life. And in my third video, you'll see me wearing the shirt. So just for comparison, I put an inkjet printer, just a regular printer paper beside it to show you just how bright the sublimation ink is and how beautiful that ink is. I absolutely love this. Stunning, beautiful, this shirt is mine. So the next piece we're gonna do is a thrifted canvas bag, and I got a bunch of these from Goodwill, and I wanna make something for my daughter. 
she's at the end of her nursing school. She's in practical now. So that means that she's working under another nurse in the hospital doing shift work like she would be sort of if she was out on her own, but with supervision. So I thought it would be nice to make her some type of a little bag that she could take with her to put her things in or maybe put snacks in, whatever she wants to do with it. And so this says nurse. You can look in my Pinterest. I have all those links in my description box to find some free printables. This one says nurse and be sure that you print it backwards or reversed or mirrored, whichever way you want to put it. Because when you press it down, you want to be sure that it is the right way when you remove your paper. So I've just kind of eyeballed it again. I do that a lot with my crafts. And I'm going to put the butcher paper on the inside and the butcher paper on the outside. And this is just to protect the surfaces so that none of that ink transfers onto the pad below or on the back of the shirt. Then after I have pressed it and the time is up, I'm just gonna remove my butcher paper and my paper and look how lovely this is. Oh, it's such a big girl print. I think my daughter's really going to like this. What a pretty, pretty little thing. Nurses are great, y'all. Shout out to my nurse friends. I believe in you guys and I know that you can do these. They're easy and I did it the cheapest way possible. It's perfect. There's a giveaway going on with Hippo. Check out the links in the description box below and become part of the Crafty Craft. So here are our projects again. This is our handkerchief or bandana. Here's the beautiful shirt. And here is our canvas tote. Love it. These are wonderful. I thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you again soon. Bye.